next guest, thank you. My next guest almost survived all five seasons of Breaking Bad as the good cop Gomi. But here he is tonight to make you laugh. Back in his roots, ladies and gentlemen, Stephen Michael Casada. <laughs> Crazy. Wow, man. I've been traveling so much. And the good news is I got to take my wife with me, you know, because we can afford it now because, you know, we, we fly southwest because bags fly free, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, 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 I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. You guys are giving me trouble. I mean, she brings so many shoes that we can afford to bring all those bags now. <laughs> and I got questions about flying, right? Like that oxygen thing, right? That always bugged me, you know? They try to make you feel better. Your oxygen will fall from the ceiling. Whoop de damn do. <laughs> you were crashing to your death. Who cares about your last three breaths of air? You're like, oh, we're crashing. He's like, no, that ain't not without clean oxygen. No, I'm not. <laughs> you know, I even asked the flight attendant, I go, what's the whole oxygen thing about, right? She goes, sir, if you don't have that oxygen on, you will pass out before the, pr the plane hits the ground. Yeah. I go, I want that. <laughs> That's what I want. Something more important should fall out, right? Like a bottle of tequila would be nice. Right, because where I'm from, we know the drunk guy survives the accident. There'd be a pile of rubble. No, you're coming out of the rubble. They run over to you, sir, sir, what happened? You're like, I don't know. I wasn't driving. The plane went like this, then the plane went like that, and here I am. I'm just looking for the oxygen, bro. <laughs> Speaking of drinking, you know, I've got three teenage daughters. Thank you for that. A woman understands, right? A woman understands. Yeah, you know, and, and kids, you know, they're, I have, they're mean. They are mean kids, right? Girls are mean. PMS at my house means permanent monthly status. <laughs> I'm true, that's true, you know? And you can't even ground kids anymore, right? Because kids don't even go outside. I'm serious. My kids are white. I go to functions, people go, oh, how nice, you adopted. I go, nah, they're Mexican. They just haven't seen the sun. I came home the other day, I grounded them. You know, I go, that's it, you're all grounded. They're like, so? I don't care. <laughs> I go, no, 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 you don't get this. You're grounded, get out. It's a new type of grounding. Right, I kicked them out. I kicked them out in the backyard, closed the door. I ran up and was looking at my security cameras. They were freaking out. They didn't know what to do. They were like. <laughs> my daughter goes, oh my God, what do we do out here? My other daughter goes, I don't know, Google it. Three minutes, right? After three minutes, they were banging on the door. They're like, let me in. There's an animal out here. I go, I know it's your dog. She goes, that's my, not my dog. My dog's a puppy. I go, it was a puppy. I go, pet it. Pick up a poop. Throw a Frisbee. Something. My daughter goes, what's a Frisbee? I go, I don't know. Google it. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy. See, now I got boys coming over to my house. I don't want no boys at my house. That's why I didn't have any boys. I don't like boys. And let me tell you something. I grew up, I was a teenager in the late 70s, early 80s. I didn't think you could have a worse hairdo than that, than that era. But these fools figured it out, didn't they? Because this kid comes over to my house, but then my daughter, he had that hairdo. You seen that one, right? Open the door and I was like, <laughs> I'm like, dude, did you drive a convertible backwards to my house or what? I was like, move that out of your, your hair. Oh, a zit. No, it's all right, bro. Just leave it right there. 
I mean, you couldn't even see his facial expressions. I mean, he was one inch away from being Cousin It. <laughs> but I needed to scare him, right? I wanted him to be afraid of my daughter and of me. So I looked at that vato right in his eye. <laughs> and I said, whatever you do to my daughter, I'm going to do to you. And I'm a good kisser. That vato had her back 15 minutes later. He said, oh my God, sir. I go, well, you're supposed to at least take her to the movie. He goes, I couldn't. Every time I look at her, all I could see was you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, baby. I love that. That's good stuff, dog. Thank you. I love that. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Hey, um, I know that you and uh, George Lopez are doing a movie together? Yeah, me, we just did a movie called La Vida Robot. Okay, and when is that out? That's out next year. We just finished shooting a couple weeks ago. How, how did you get on Breaking Bad? I just showed up. <laughs> <laughs> I walked in the room. No, you know, it was, it was funny, you know, because I walked in the room and, and Vince Gillian goes, did you read the script? And I go, like three times. And I've never read anything three times. I go, this was so crazy. This is the craziest thing I've ever read. Whoever wrote this is a nut. He goes, oh, well, thank you. And I went, oh. Uh. <laughs>